I'm Don Vanigan. I'm 89 years old and I flew in 19 different types of aircraft in Europe, in North Africa, Persian Gulf, and then the Far East. Yeah, we get no pension for our time out there. All my money went to Equitable Life. That was a great mistake. Jai and I have been married for 54 years. But we've had a lovely life, no problems at all, until Equitable threw a spanner in the works. When I was age 60, sadly, I was made redundant. So in 1991, I decided to draw my with profits Equitable Life pension. If I'd have delayed that for a year, it would have been a much different outcome. At a stroke, uh, we were told that it had all gone wrong. Something like less than half of what it was 10, 11 years ago. And suddenly you find that you've got a third of what you anticipated. They knock it down by 6.5% every year. In 12 years' time, Jai will have no pension. If only I had invested my money elsewhere. He less signed his pension on the day before the, the cut-off time in 1992, August the 31st. So we get no compensation at all, just for 24 hours. By taking away the compensation to the pre-92 annuitants, they've attacked the oldest and most vulnerable. As a result, I'm not going to get a penny. I'm not independent anymore. I cannot be. I can't afford to be. I don't like relying on other people. I'd be able to stand on my own two feet. And I can't anymore. Upsetting. We had a um, Cotswoldstone cottage with all the ingle nook fireplaces and gardens and and then all of a sudden our life was turned upside down and we're now back, as you can see, in a path home. And I think this has affected Jai more than you're, anybody will realise. It was a way of life. She was happy, she was settled. Thought she was going to live there forever. We're looking for compensation for money which was stolen from us. Money that we paid in year by year, believing that we were making plans for the future. It makes you sick. It really, really makes, makes you sick. sick. Because <laughs> it's no fault of your own. Is it not time that the government, and indeed the opposition parties, recognise their conscience demands that they recompense us victims for the damage and losses we have suffered over these last several years? They didn't just take away our pensions, they took away our pride, they took away our dignity. I've called this a pensioner's plight because it puts everything in a nutshell. Just what do we have to do to get it through to you? That we are now in dire straits and now here yet another wait. We are now pensioners we tried in the past to make our retirement plans to last. Our standard of living has really gone down and our smiles are replaced by frowns. Our Cotswold cottage has gone with no hope of a loan, now replaced by a mobile home. We are not asking for any charity, just what is justice for my husband and me. We were born in an age that taught. If you walked hard and battles fought, you would see the seeds that you had sown, and the results would be shown. How naive we have been when we see what we have seen. They say crime does not pay. Well, that's a lie, I can say. Try to help yourself, you get stabbed in the back. Help is something that you lack. This is written by someone who is bitter, so perhaps you should ignore this letter.